I'd just like to know what you've done is obviously amazing and you know it's an eye-opener as to what potentially can be done with solar power how do you see that transferring to more general use not just with with flight maybe with cars that, that kind of thing you're absolutely right and you understood what I wanted to do with solar impulse is to demonstrate that all the technologies that allow us to fly day and night without fuel in an airplane can be used everywhere in our daily life and today if these technologies were used for mobility on the ground for isolation of houses um, for heating or cooling systems, for lighting systems, for the grid. We could already today divide by two the energy consumption of the world, just by energy efficiency, and therefore, of course, the CO2 emissions. And it would create jobs and make profits and sustain economical growth. So we see that today we have so many solutions. So when the governments are setting targets, they should include much more the solutions available in their reflections. Wow. So, so clearly, as you say, you, you did a lot of flying by night and you must have gone into some very quiet weather zones as, as well. How easy is it to negotiate the, the variations in weather that you had to, to, to get? Today with the climate change, the weather forecast and weather statistics start to be quite erratic. Quite erratic. Um, it's not the same patterns as every year, like it was in the past. It's one year it's like this, another year it's the opposite. So it was very difficult for our weathermen to find the way of the airplane in order to go around the world. And it took us more time than forecasted. Huh? We, we were planning to do it over one year, and actually it took a year and a half to, to, to do it. So, so where did you get your weather information from? We had our own weather team, uh, two meteorologists from Belgium, outstanding people, uh, the same who guided me with the balloon when I flew around the world non-stop in the balloon in 99. And we have the same team this year. Uh, and they worked with the European models, with the American models. They combined all the models available to see why they were not always fitting together. And they understood more by combining the differences of the results in order to understand more precisely what was going to happen. So finally, they were predicting the weather with, with an extreme accuracy for five or six days in advance, which was amazing. Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. And with pleasure. One millionth person to congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you very Thanks much.